The Florida Gators baseball team punched their ticket to the College World Series for their fourth consecutive year. The Gators don't have any redshirt seniors on their baseball roster, so every player has been to Omaha every year of their college careers, which has been really convenient for the families. The Gators clinched the Super Regional in extra innings. Orlando native Michael Byrne pitched four scoreless innings, striking out five. 11th inning, Austin Langworthy bouncing a walk-off solo home run off Auburn's right fielder. The players celebrated on the field as their families joined. Then the moms and dads started booking their flights. This will be the third trip to Omaha for the Burns, who now have a routine. A local allows several families to stay in their house, now known as the baseball B&B. They knew that parents wanted to be there to see their kids and in order to do that, it was so expensive and the hotels go crazy high out there. So she made it so that we could come and enjoy ourselves. The house accommodates six families with five couches in the basement, renting beds and making breakfast. Burns' mom made sure the Gators had a reservation before the season even started. Last Christmas, I had an apron made up for her that said, Trisha's Gator B&B, &B. and I mailed it to her and I said, this is our reservation for next year. The Gators will have a busy schedule with their first game on June 17th, but will have time to hang out at the house in between games. We actually have the players come over and we do barbecues and, and the get guys just get to hang out and relax with their parents because we don't really get to see them. The locals who rent out their house are huge Kansas City Royals fans. So they're looking forward to hosting two Gators in particular, Brady Singer and Jackson Coar, who were both drafted in the first round by the Royals.